And at number 10, Jennifer Grey. The legendary Dirty Dancer star was known for her unique nose that really made her stand out from the crowd. However, in 1989, after she became a huge star, she decided to get a nose job and made her nose look like every other big star back then. And sadly, her career shrank alongside her nose. Her nose job was actually pretty minor, but because her nose was so distinct, it made her completely unrecognizable. She said about the regrettable procedure, quote, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. And because nobody really recognized her anymore, she didn't have the star power that movies were looking for, and she stopped landing roles as a result. And at number 9, Dana Delaney. Dana Delaney took her career to new heights after she starred in the hit sitcom Desperate Housewives for a number of seasons. I think I've said on the channel before that is literally one of my all time favorite shows. However, after the show ended, she decided to try some Botox, which sadly stopped her career in its tracks. Apparently her dermatologist was telling her to try it because he had such great results with his other clients. But quote, he injected my forehead, hit a nerve, and created a huge hematoma adding quote, the nerve has been dead ever since. It affected the muscle in my right eye, so my right eye has started to droop a little bit. Thankfully, she did start working again eventually, however, it did take a while for her to regain her confidence to be on screen. And at number eight, Tara Reid. Tara Reid underwent multiple plastic surgeries after she starred in a few hit movies, including American Pie and the Pussycat Dolls. In 2004, after many of the surgeries were botched, she was forced to undergo corrective surgeries in 2007. She told Us Weekly, quote, I had a hernia, this huge bump right next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. After these botched surgeries, she was unable to land the same high caliber projects that she had before, and she was only considered for spoof movies like Sharknado. She told People in 2008, quote, In my American Pie days, everyone was kissing my butt. I didn't realize how good I had it. Adding that she's terrified of getting surgery ever again. And at number seven, Reed Ewing. While modern family actor Reed Ewing was suffering from body dysmorphia, he underwent several cosmetic procedures, all of which he regretted. He told the Huffington Post that after all the swelling from the surgeries went down, the results were not at all what he expected. Adding, quote, I vowed I would never get cosmetic surgery again, even though I was still deeply insecure about my looks. It took me about six months before I was comfortable with people even looking at me. I wish I could go back and undo all those surgeries. And while he was recovering from the swelling and trying to come to terms with his new look, he stopped working. And at number six, Lisa Rinna. I know Lisa Rinna best as a cast member on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. However, many fans of the show might not know that she had a budding acting career early on that was cut short because of bad plastic surgery. We all know that Lisa is famous for her big lips, but she became unrecognizable in the mid 80s after one of her lip injections went wrong. She said while on the Today Show that she decided to get silicone injected into her lips when she was only 24 years old, adding that it was a stupid thing to do. However, she said that more recently her lips were getting yucky, so she asked a doctor to remove as much of the silicone as they could. A lot of people speculate that her large lips cost her a lot of work in Hollywood, and that's why she was only ever cast in small roles. She also told MomLogic.com, quote, When you change your face, you don't look like yourself. Looking fresher is one thing, I looked like a freak. I always said I wouldn't change my face, but I did. Halfway at number five, Ashley Simpson. Ashley Simpson's career went downhill for a number of reasons, but one of those reasons is actually due to cosmetic procedures. Back in 2006, Simpson appeared on the cover of Marie Claire magazine, preaching self acceptance of one's body, telling the magazine, quote, Everybody is made differently, and that's what makes us beautiful and unique. I want girls to look in the mirror and feel confident, which was actually a very uncommon message at that time. But it seems that Ashley was caught being hypocritical, and after the issue hit stands, she actually underwent a nose job. Now it's important to note that nobody probably would have cared about that nose job if she didn't preach self acceptance beforehand. However, after people learned of this nose job, they were outraged. And the magazine actually got thousands of letters from readers about Simpson not practicing what she preached. And at number four, Lil Kim. Lil Kim was at one point the queen of rap, even winning a Grammy. However, she became unrecognizable following dozens of surgeries and other cosmetic procedures, and her career took a hit as a result. In a 2005 interview, Kim did admit to getting a nose job, then to getting another rhinoplasty after she suffered a broken nose from an ex-boyfriend. However, she never admitted to anything more, even though other work was pretty obvious. 
Experts also said that she definitely had some sort of skin bleaching, using acids or creams to lighten her skin. There's also speculation that she got cheek fillers as well. Of course, the music had a part in her decline, however many fans just couldn't relate to her anymore after all her work. In at number 3, Nikki Cox. Cox was one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood in the 90s, starring in tons of hits around that time. However, after her appearance changed dramatically, so did her career. Nikki not only changed her appearance, but it seems that she was botched as well, forcing her to only do voiceover work since 2009. One plastic surgeon told Radar Online, quote, she definitely appears to have gotten some sort of filler in her cheeks and lips. Injectables always look best on a person when they are not noticeable, not when everyone can tell that a person had work done. The doctor also says that he doesn't believe that she got anything more, even though it might seem that way, because clearly whatever work that she's done was gone overboard. And at number two, Kenny Rogers. The late Kenny Rogers decided to undergo some cosmetic surgery, and it took a huge blow to his confidence. He told CBS host Gail King in 2012, quote, I was trying to hide myself. I had the money to do it and I had the time off. It's one of those things that I think everybody, you look at yourself and go, could I be better if I did this or did that? Adding that he regrets doing anything and he's always very curious as to what he would have looked like without it. Adding quote, you do it and you live with it. He also said that the changes in his appearance did not affect his music or singing voice, but rather his confidence to get on stage and make music. He even cancelled some shows during his 2018 farewell tour because he was battling health challenges, which some speculated was due to plastic surgery. And finally at number 1, Cardi B. Cardi B loves making money, and she's often said that she doesn't care much for music, but rather the money that it's brought her. However, her money train was temporarily put on hold when she had to cancel a few of her tour dates to recover from surgery. She had complications from liposuction and was still in the process of recovering from breast implants. She clapped back at critics who called her lazy for getting the lipo instead of working out, and she replied that being an entertainer is a 24 hour job and she doesn't have time to work out. She added, quote, I hate canceling shows because I love money. I'm a money addict. I get paid a lot of money for these shows. I'm canceling millions of dollars in shows, but health is wealth, so I have to do what I have to do. Apparently, all the traveling was making her body swell and putting her at serious risk of further health complications, so she decided to take a break and heal. And at number 10, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke was a very successful actor, but after multiple botched surgeries, his career took a hit. In the early 90s, Rourke decided to take a break from his acting career and pursue a boxing career. He was a good fighter and actually won all his matches, but his face paid the real price. After facial damage from the boxing, he underwent multiple surgeries to look how he had before. However, the botched surgeries temporarily hurt his acting prospects. He told the Daily Mail about the surgeries, quote, most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of the boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together, saying that he broke his nose twice and had five surgeries to repair it, along with a smashed cheekbone. After correcting a lot of the surgery, Rourke's career is beginning to pick up once again. And at number 9, Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan was America's sweetheart for many years, starring in classics like Sleepless in Seattle and When Harry Met Sally. But after many years in the spotlight, her look started to change around 2003. She got a lot of hate for her changing appearance, along with media scrutiny surrounding her divorce from Dennis Quaid. All this together severely damaged her career and her girl next door image. One plastic surgeon suggested that she had fat transferred or filler put into her cheeks because her cheeks move when she smiles. He went on to add, quote, the tip of her nose looks more pinched, so it's very possible that she had some sort of rhinoplasty. There's definitely volume in her lips as well. She's had too much Botox in the forehead. The surgery that most dramatically changes the shape of the face is a facelift. So clearly they believe that Meg had a lot of work done. All the media scrutiny around her looks ultimately made her leave the business. And at number 8, Lara Flynn Boyle. Boyle was stunning in the 90s when she acted on shows like Twin Peaks and The Practice. But in the early 2000s, her face started to change for the worst, specifically her lips. After her lips started to look very unnatural, her work started to dry up. Since 2006, her work has dwindled and she mainly guest stars in TV roles. There is some debate as to whether her botched surgeries have been the reason for her career's decline or if it's due to the lack of age diversity in Hollywood. She told one news outlet, quote, I know I may be running out of time, there are just not that many roles for older women. On a vanity level, I am not looking forward to aging at all. I think I look pretty good now. And at number 7, Melanie Griffith. Melanie Griffith had a phenomenal career, even landing her an Oscar in 1988 for Working Girl. But that changed quickly when she started getting facial modifications around 1995. Sources of the Daily Mail say she got some sort of filler in her lips, as well as a facelift. 
after the work, she didn't land many roles. When asked if she thought the procedures harmed her career, she told Porter Magazine, quote, No, I didn't realize until people started saying, oh my god, what has she done? Adding, quote, I was so hurt. I went to a different doctor and he started dissolving everything that this other woman doctor had put in. Hopefully I look a lot more normal now. Then speaking in 2012, she said the media scrutiny was so bad that she didn't even want to face the public anymore. In at number 6, Joan Van Ark. Soap actress Joan Van Ark stopped her career in its tracks when she started to get work done in the late 2000s. And it seemed like directly after people started noticing her facial modifications, she was cut from The Young and the Restless in 2005. Since then, she's only acted in small roles like voiceover work and TV movies. Dr. Anthony Yoon gave his opinion on what she's had done. Quote, I suspect she's had at least one facelift, if not two, causing her neckline and jawline to look tight. Her forehead is smooth and wrinkle free, a possible consequence of a brow lift and Botox. He also believes that she's had chemical peels and skin lasering, which did not turn out as anticipated. He thinks that she can restore her natural beauty if she stops the invasive procedures. Halfway number 5, Michael Jackson. Of course, the thing that actually stopped Michael Jackson's career in its tracks was his untimely death, but he will always be known as the king of pop. But before that, his reputation started to take a nasty turn due to botched plastic surgeries along with multiple media scandals. It's rumored that he underwent countless nose jobs as well as skin bleaching. However, Jackson claims to have vitiligo, and that's why his skin lightened over time. When asked about a nose job, Jackson told Martin Bashir, quote, I've had no plastic surgery on my face, just my nose. It helped me breathe better so I can hit higher notes. I've had two nose jobs as I can remember. You know, you're, you're, you've physically changed, haven't you? The photographs of you, if I look at them No, it's from... called adolescence, it's called growing and changing. Y yeah, but even the shape of your face has changed. No, it has not. I've had no plastic surgery on my face. Just my nose. However, many plastic surgeons speculate that he had far more than just two nose jobs, and he developed nasal cripples due to his lack of tissue to breathe through. And at number four, Jamie Lee Curtis. Obviously, Jamie Lee Curtis still has a phenomenal career and she's so talented that she won't be finishing acting until she decides to be. However, her career did have a temporary setback after she decided to undergo some procedures to stop signs of aging. In a 2002 interview, Curtis admitted to having several procedures including lipo and Botox. However, she hated all of it. She admitted the thing that really took a toll on her appearance was surgery she had on her under eye bags. Telling The Telegraph, quote, 10 years ago I had fat taken from underneath my eyes because I was on a movie and I was puffy. I remember the cameraman saying, quote, I can't shoot her right now. She says that she was absolutely mortified and had to remember that when you take fat from one place, it will come back in a different place. However, she stopped the procedures and has not looked back since. And at number 3, Farrah Abraham. Farrah got her start on Team Mom, where she developed a loyal following. After the show ended, Farrah decided to undergo multiple plastic surgery procedures and altered her appearance. The procedures went so badly that she actually appeared on Botched in 2015 to get help. On the show, she discussed lip implants that went horribly wrong, even showing a picture of her horribly swollen lips. She also discussed that the anesthesia didn't keep her under during the procedure, telling the show that she could feel everything, and she could tell her lip was getting horribly puffy. She even even claimed that she wanted to go into plastic surgery after all of her procedures, but that hasn't happened. Vera is very well known in the reality TV space, however her procedures have made her a constant target for social media hate. And at number 2, Cher. Cher couldn't ruin her career if she tried to, of course, she is a legend, but her botched breast augmentation took a major toll on her confidence, which affected her performances for a brief time. After the botched procedure, she told people, quote, it was a nightmare, adding, quote, they were really botched in every way. If anything, they were worse than before. However, Cher is not regretful of her procedures, and she admitted to having a facelift, even calling herself the plastic surgery poster girl. And finally, number one, Daryl Hannah. Splash actress Daryl Hannah has denied having any work done, even though it's very clear her face has changed considerably over the years. It's been rumored that she's had work done on her lips, eyes, and cheeks. Her face has become unnaturally puffy over the years, especially around her cheeks. Her lips are also much larger than before. When speaking about surgery, she denied it, saying that it makes people, quote, look like Muppets. Since her facial modifications, her career has dried up considerably. And at number 10, Courtney Cox. The legendary Friends actor finally gave in to pressures to get filler and Botox, and she hated the result that it had on her face. She said that she 
would get some sort of filler here and there, but she didn't realize that they were all basically layering on top of each other, which led to a look that she hated. When speaking about the procedures, she told New Beauty, quote, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look like myself. I think that I now look more like the person that I was. I hope I do. She also made the change back to natural for her work, explaining her face didn't have the natural movement with the fillers, adding, quote, you need movement in your face, especially if you have thin skin like I do. Those aren't wrinkles, they're smile lines. I've had to learn to embrace movement and realize that fillers are not my friend. And in number nine, Heidi Montag. The Hill star is famous for going overboard with plastic surgery. She infamously turned her girl next door look into that of a Barbie doll. She even underwent a whopping 10 procedures in one day in 2010, putting her health at risk. Montag revealed years later that she regretted making so many changes to her body, saying, quote, I was definitely way in over my head. I kind of wanted a few enhancements and then it kind of got out of hand. I wasn't really told the repercussions and what would happen, emotionally and physically, and the pain I would be in. I was kind of in shock. Following all her plastic surgery procedures, that was all anybody knew her for, and she was no longer cast in any projects that were not related to her cosmetic enhancements. And at number eight, Scott Carrot Top Thompson. Carrot Top is no stranger to worst celebrity plastic surgery lists. And his appearance has changed considerably over the years. One doctor told MakeMeHeal.com that it appears as though Thompson has undergone a brow lift along with Botox injections, lip plumping, and laser peels, which is proved by his disappearing freckles. It's also been speculated that he's taken steroids and they are responsible for his buff appearance, but he denies getting anything done. When speaking about it in 2015, he told Florida Today, quote, I never had any plastic surgery. I can see why people think that because I got really big for a while, but I never got any work done. I mean, if I was going to have plastic surgery, I would look better than this. Caratop has had incredible success in his career, specifically in Vegas, but some say his career could be still thriving if not for his changing appearance. And at number seven, Yolanda Hadid. While Yolanda was battling her Lyme disease, she decided to reverse every cosmetic procedure that she could to be completely natural. This all took place when she was filming The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, so it was captured on the show. First, she decided to get her breast implants removed and then remove all of her fillers. She shared the news with her Instagram followers, writing in the caption of her post that she was quote 55 and smiling from the inside out, finally back to the original 1964. Living in a body free of breast implants, fillers, Botox extensions, and all the BS I thought I needed in order to keep up with what society conditioned me to believe a sexy woman should look like until the toxicity of it almost killed me. Because of her desire to live life naturally in every way possible, she's also stepped back from working. And in number six, Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner is known for her signature pout that she achieved with the help of fillers. And with those lips, she became a billionaire, selling lip kits so people could try and achieve the lips that Kylie had. But Kylie actually regretted how large she made her lips at one point. While the sisters were being interviewed by Allure, Kylie revealed their lips got way too big. Apparently, her sisters even had to set her straight and tell her to relax on the filler. And even though it can be argued that Kylie's cosmetic procedures brought her career to new heights, it's all anyone can talk about when discussing the star now. And plastic surgery and fillers will likely be linked to her forever. Halfway number five, Khloe Kardashian. When the Kardashian sisters first started their rise to fame, Khloe seemed to always be the odd one out. She was constantly referred to as the ugly duckling of the family. But as time went on, Khloe did her best to reverse that image by getting multiple plastic surgeries to change her face and body. Her body even became such a point of conversation that she started the show Revenge Body. The whole premise of the show is that people use Khloe's help to transform their bodies along with their lives. However, there was a lot of controversy around the show and Khloe giving workout advice because many are convinced that Khloe got her killer body with surgery. This is because her body is an entirely different shape than before and it definitely doesn't look natural. Things got even worse when an unedited photo of Khloe's body was leaked and she reacted by trying to get it taken off the internet, proving she's not even happy with her body unless it's edited. And at number four, Courtney Love. Courtney Love is best known as the singer for the band Hole as well as the widow of Kurt Cobain. However, she also has a reputation for significantly changing her looks through plastic surgery. She started off with a grunge punk aesthetic, but slowly changed up the classic Hollywood look. Her most noticeable change has been her nose job. Love has admitted that she has changed her look significantly since she was the poster child for 90s grunge. She got her lips injected and had a nose job, but now she says that she regrets it. It's also changed the way that her fans look at her, and they really don't like that she's so different than before. And at number three, Vivica A. Fox. Fox is a popular actress in the 90s, starring in movies like Set It Off and Two can play that game. She also did a lot of modeling and was known for her sweet and classic look. However, things changed in her career when she decided to get some work done and it drastically changed her look. Most noticeably was a nose job and some fillers. Since her career took a huge hit after her face had noticeably changed, we can assume the changes put a big damper on her career. And since she's only 
appeared in a few movies since, as well as being on The Celebrity Apprentice. I guess that could hold true. And at number two, Donatella Versace. Donatella got her fame through running high-end fashion brand Versace with her late brother Gianni. And in the decades since she's been a public figure, her face has changed considerably. Most would say for the worse. Over time, she's become unrecognizable, with her nose and lips changing the most. It's gotten so bad that Donatella has landed herself on pretty much every worst plastic surgery list that there is. Donatella is only admitted to getting Botox, nothing more, so she is not admitted to regretting any of her procedures. But since her reputation has taken such a hit because of her changing face, we can assume it's had a negative impact on her career as well. At the very least, it's made her less respected by the public. And finally, number one, Adrian Balon. The real host and former Disney Channel star has opened up about regretting her decision to get breast implants in her teens. She told E! News in 2014, quote, When I was 19 years old, I actually did get breast implants. Probably one of my greatest regrets. I went from having an insecurity that I didn't have big breasts to now looking like an adult film star. And I was like, uh, this isn't great. She also revealed that she got the procedure right before she was set to film Cheetah Girls 2, and it was quite a shock for Disney executives. But she says the implants did not last, and she decided to get them taken out shortly after. She also added that the implants stretched out her skin, adding, quote, it was not the smartest decision for my career and just for myself. It was wanting to feel like a woman. Thankfully, she was able to fix things and has had a great career so far. I love her on the real. <laughs>